بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Brothers, the Prophet وسلم, said that this matter, Islam, would enter into every house. So whether you are here today or not, Islam will enter every home. This should make you realize that Allah doesn't need you, we need Him. We should thank Allah that He has given us the opportunity to convey a compassionate and intelligent case for Islam and for Habibullah for his love, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So feel love that you're here today and be very grateful because this has nothing to do with you. You're not going to spread mercy and justice and compassion. It's Allah. And this will happen with you or without you. So be in a huge state of gratitude that you're here today. And this also tells us that the Prophet ﷺ was a global messenger because Islam will enter every home. And when he taught the Sahaba this, it was, it was when Islam was in only in a corner of the world. But now Islam is everywhere. Look at your faces. White, black, green, blue, yellow, right? And it shows that this is a global messenger and a global message. And this is why we have this campaign. Who do you love? This global campaign to teach others why we love Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and why they should love him too. Because he was a man of mercy and a man of truth. And ultimately, if they follow him and if they love him, then Allah will love them. Yes, Allah has a universal loving compassion for everything. But there's a special type of love only for those who follow Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's a pure form of love. Allah is Al-Wudud, coming from the Arabic word Wud, which means a loving that is giving. And Allah is Al-Ghani, Allah. He is the independent, free of any need, yet He loves. He gains nothing by loving, but He loves. So please, realize that today is all about love. Showing the mercy of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the fact that he was truthful, he was speaking the truth. And remember, you being here today is something that gives you life. Everything that you do apart from da'wah brothers and sisters and apart from ibadah, it's just animal stuff. You're no different from a cow or a goat or a lizard. I don't care. If you have a PhD, five degrees, five houses, a huge car, a great wife, you write her poetry, this is irrelevant. It all reduces itself to two instincts, survival and reproduction. But this is what's giving you life. You're responding to the call of Allah. As Allah says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, stajibu lillahi wa li rasooli idha da'akum lima yuhyikum. Oh, you have believed, respond to the call of Allah and His Messenger to that which gives you life. Yuhyikum. Allah is giving you life upon your biological life, elevating you from the level of instinct to the level of ibadah, to the level of responding to this call. As Imam Bukhari said, responding to this call is responding to all that is good. So you're here today that not only is a means for Allah to love you, but Allah has given you life upon your biological life. Purify your intentions, may Allah bless you, and let's call people to this love, call people to this mercy, and call people to this truth. Be people of love, be people of mercy, and be people of truth. Takbir! Allah Takbir! Allah Takbir! Allah Takbir! Allah